When you first log in to Terminal 4, you will see the Dashboard page. So the Dashboard has some information, has links to tutorials and other resources. You can always return to the Dashboard page by clicking on the Terminal 4 logo here on the top left. Also in this navigation bar along the top, you have a Site Structure button. The Site Structure is where all of the sites and pages that you allowed are allowed to edit will be seen. So here we have a website, and it is made up of sections. In Terminal 4, a page, a web page, is called a section. Sections always have folder icons next to them. When we put a group of sections together, it's called a branch. So there will always be a parent section, that's the home page, and then below in the hierarchy are all of the child sections, and that is all of the other pages on your website. If we open a section by clicking on it, uh, there's information about this section here, but also there are content types. Here in the content tab, the content types can be added here, uh, they can be edited. Uh, the content types allow you to place content on your page and format it in different ways. out to the site structure. Uh, each website is going to have a page layout assigned to it. So the page layout you can see by opening the parent page, opening the home page, and going to the page layout tab. Here under the ISU website you can see that there are uh, is an assigned page layout and some other options. So the page layout essentially places the header, the footer, and the navigation menu on the page and then leaves a space for your content types. Also commonly used is the media library. To access the media library you use this left hand navigation, the content option, and then media library is here at the bottom when it opens up. The media library has its own kind of site structure with different folders. You'll have one under libraries with your site and we can see what is in that folder. You can add and edit media in the media library.